guys, it's Nerdy here, and as you can tell by the fact that I am using a camera for this video... Oh, that is way out of frame. One sec. It's a new sketchbook tour! I started this bad boy in June of 2021 and finished it in May of 2022, so it's a while coming. I kept holding off on doing this uh, sketchbook tour, but let's get into it, baby. New sketchbook. I would add sketchbook goals, but I hardly ever follow them, so the goal is to just have fun and improve. Ooh woo. And funny enough, the fact that I didn't add sketchbook goals, I think actually pushed me to try out new things. I don't know what kind of reverse psychology that is, but this is probably my most experimental sketchbook yet. Crazy. Wild. Here's my character Nezumi. If you've seen my sketchbook tours, you know them by now. They're one of my favorite OCs, and I think they're super neat, and I wanted to basically uh, give them a fresh new, like, main outfit design. This outfit of theirs, like, their original outfit is still super canon, but I wanted to give them, like, a fresh e-boy aesthetic. So I settled on this look for them. And then here is my character Amari with friend's character, and then a character from Nizumi's backstory, just like some drafting of what her design would look like. I don't know if this is like a set in stone look for her. All I know for sure is that she's gonna be ginger and that's it. Here are my girls, Jaga and Miki. Again, if you know my sketchbook tours, you know these girlies by now. I love drawing them and their dumb gay dynamic. Funny enough about these doodles, they're technically a D&D &D character or like character concepts for that, but the thing is I've never really gotten into D&D &D, and I've tried so many times, but it's just never stuck. And I really wanted to like do this character at this point and I don't know if you can hear that, but the train is being annoying. Ah! But yeah, I wanted to basically create a character for like a, a possible D&D &D character that is a fish girl warlock whose patron is Cthulhu and Cthulhu is her sugar daddy because I think that's funny. Here is some doodles based off of this little cute drawing that my old roommate did and she was gonna throw it out and I was like no don't throw it out it's so cute so I basically just made a character for this. I did this like lotus girl shit. Here's my character Belle. She's like a fantasy world character so here's her in like casual everyday outfits just for the funsies of it. And then this is like dark evil bell, Del, if you will. <laughs> Some anime girl collage stuff. Nothing much to see here except the fact that I hid the main six in there for funsies. Here are some drawings of my OCs. I really love this drawing of Kanade up here. That's why it's the only shaded thing on this page. Some stuff of my character Minami based off of some pose references I found on Pinterest. The girls, again, Jagamiki being the cutest, the sweetest. It's actually one of my favorite two-page spreads in the sketchbook. I just think it's so wholesome. Another thing of like drawing based off of reference photos, except I didn't insert my OCs in there, which made it like 10 times less fun. Here's my character Lumi, who's a weather doll ghost, and I draw them very sparingly, but it's always a good time when I draw them. Again, more OC stuff. These are my characters Aki and Yuki, who are a paranormal researching dynamic duo. More ponies, or just pony related content, because I gotta draw ponies. I can't not draw ponies. I've been doing it since I was like 10, and it makes me very, very happy. Honestly, My Little Pony characters are so fun to draw. Like, the My Little Pony character designs kind of pop off. The girls, again, nothing much to see except them being gay. These are some drawings based off of Decora images I found on Pinterest. I've been really inspired by deco fashion and I've been kind of trying to dress like that myself. Oh wow, the train has come to interrupt me again. I will never be as cool as these models here, but it's definitely great inspiration fuel to find incredible decora people on Pinterest and be like, ah yes, I will try to snatch your style. These were some life drawings that I actually did while I was out and it was very difficult. <laughs> Edgy self-portrait of myself, wow. 
crazy. Here's some of the first in a crazy amount of just thumbnailing for projects in school. This project was like, illustrate something that's hard to see, you know, too big to think about or too small to think about or just something you can't really see. So I did like three concepts that I thumbnailed for, but I ended up settling on this like chemistry of love concept with like a shoujo manga inspired aesthetic. And the final drawing actually I sell as a print on my Etsy store, link in description. You should support my art. It would make me very, 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 very happy. But you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> So here are some mermaids again because I absolutely love mermaids. Mermaids are sexy. These are based off of H2O characters or just like copying screen caps from the show because I love them. And then this is just how I prefer to draw mermaids with more like fishy monster girl type features. Another homework thing for school, I just drew like bridges and stuff. And funny enough, I just became the kid in third year who just kept drawing bridges and bridges and bridges for all of my school assignments, or at least I tried to like insert them into so many assignments for like this specific class. I think my prof got really tired of me coming up to them and being like, so for this project, I'm gonna draw a bridge again. <laughs> And then this is part two of the project where I took the bridges and then basically combined them with aesthetics from a specific Magic the Gathering card because he gave us a list of Magic the Gathering cards. It's fucking crazy. These sticky notes are here to censor where I live. Wee! So this character here is a character by Clowns in Cyberspace on TikTok who you should totally check out. They make the most incredible like vintage clown inspired characters and outfits and they're all like handmade and gorgeous and I just really wanted to draw one of their characters. It's just, oh my god, the artistry, it's crazy. This was for an art history assignment where you had to design what your ideal phone would be and me being the cynical art school student that I am was like, haha, the perfect phone is the phone we have except it is never going to be obsolete because planned obsolescence is bad. These were some more homework things for school. There's this really pretty garden nearby my campus so my old roommate and I were just kind of like walking around and taking pictures and then I went home and drew them and then somehow my watercolor skills like peaked here. I've never been able to like replicate this which is sad because this is very average watercolor application but yeah watercolors are hard. I commend anyone who uses watercolors as their main medium. Y'all are powerful. Here's some stuff as Jaga when she's like 13, and then my character Rhea, who's kind of a MILF, some more like things for school, and then some more things for school. Look, bridges again. <laughs> Bridge! <laughs> But this project's actually super cool, or at least I really had fun drawing it. It was like a disaster project where you basically like take your city and kind of like make a disaster run through it and then the aftermath. So we have an alien invasion here and then a kraken in the river here. So yeah, that was super fun. So here's another attempt at watercolor because that last assignment made me feel really confident and then my confidence just went completely down in the toilet after I did these. <laughs> I will have doodles that I don't really like too much, even though the show is amazing. And then some random drawings for school again. This was some thumbnailing for an assignment that I don't think I ever posted online, but I really put a lot of effort into it and I love how it turned out. It's just like not anime girl stuff, so I feel like y'all wouldn't be interested, but hey, this is my YouTube video. I can do a funny thing where, wow, did you see that? That's how the final turned out. <laughs> It was page 69, so I had to draw Jackie for the funnies of it all. Some more stuff for school, more stuff for school, and then like the beginning of an Aki spam just because I started role playing them and I love them so much. And here is some really stupid Jackie in the corner, but other than that, it's just Aki all over because I love them. They're just a silly fucking fucked up little guy. This is based off of like one of the first ever interactions in the role play. And then here's like the Aki time 
timeline, I guess. The school stuff that isn't as cool as Aki. This is actually the midway point of the sketchbook. Welcome to the halfway point. I wanted to do something really cool where I like put all my sticky note scraps or whatever and did a collage with them. But the thing is, I ended up using a lot more like full sticky note sheets instead of like cutting them up to do like very specific small changes. So I ended up not having very many scraps. So I just like slapped an anime girl here and decided that was good. Some random doodles that I did in the middle of like a lecture. I really like these cat tubes here. I think I saw someone on Instagram do them. So it's not like an original concept of mine, but I think it's funny. And then here is this otter girl because otters are my favorite animal. And also I do really want to get into drawing anthros at some point, but I just keep holding it off. Haha, <laughs> you will never know my location or where I live. Look at these anime girls that I actually really like how these sketches look with the marker and stuff. I don't know, it's just really pretty and vibrant. I popped off there. Here's a shoe spread. I don't know if you guys remember from my last sketchbook tour, but I did like a page of shoe references from Pinterest because I really suck at drawing feet. So I just took a whole bunch of shoes I thought were interesting and drew them. And I decided to do that again for this sketchbook. And it was so much fun. I really want to do this again in my current sketchbook. Just like keep the tradition going because it really helps me learn how to draw feet. The girls again, haha, <laughs> if you pause to read this, it's kind of horny, but don't look. Look at this instead, it's so edgy and fun, and wow, these girls are my everything. My character Cloudburst, she's just a little pony who loves the clouds. <laughs> These are my characters, Jaga and Hideki. I love pairing them up because they're like on opposite ends of the lesbian stereotype spectrum. And I just think it's funny to pair them up because of those reasons, because I'm silly and predictable and gay. And then concepting of my character, Jackrabbit, who must I love to bits. She's amazing and I had a lot of fun role-playing as them. It was it was great. I love them so much. Such a funny little scrim blow, but I just started getting really inspired by like Jackrabbit's lore because Jackrabbit is a character that's like in the whole random lore that I made up surrounding Jaga. So it's like vigilante bullshit. So I drew the whole gang and like like headshots of what the main nine, ten bitches in there would be, but whatever. We don't need to talk about my stupid vigilante squad. Look at my idol girl, Sora. She's an icon and I adore her. More shit for school. So this is something that I did for an assignment in one of my classes where you had to do something based off of like a contrast. So I really wanted to explore the creepy cute aesthetic of Minhera K because I absolutely love fashion subcultures and I think Minhera is just super, super fascinating. More shit, but like more shit for another assignment. But then I went back to like exploring that concept before doing the finals just because I was really passionate about like really researching the culture and pro portraying it. Well, here is like the thumbnail of how the final look. I will actually flash the final on the screen. What well, plam? You can buy that on my Etsy store. Another shameless self plug. I'm sorry, but it would be neat if you could support my work again. Ah! <laughs> Another thing for class. Um, it was a fiber class where we uh, learned a lot about dyeing fabric. So I had a lot of fun in there. Some more Jackie bullshit. Some cute shit here and some edgy shit here. The huge random school thing. More school thing, except I actually really liked how this project turned out. So let me just flash the finals on the screen. One, two, three, four. Wowza pauza. These are the idols from Resolution. I love them so much. Stan Rezo, you should check them out. They're an independent idol group who like makes their own songs and costumes. And now I'm just being an ad for them, but you should really check them out. They're super cool. And Stan Rezo, I wanted to make a print based off of the Bell movie, but I never ended up doing that. Instead, I just drew Nezumi on this page because I love that fucking influencer. Look at this stupid drawing I did here. It's actually my favorite one on this page. <laughs> Some more shit for school. Shit for school again, except this was a project I was really interested in and you can tell because I dedicated four pages in the sketchbook to that or like more like four, more like six pages actually. But it was this genre splice project, which as you can tell, by the name of the project, it was about combining two genres. So I picked like children's whimsical fable and horror, and I'm really happy with the results of that project. Once again, let me flash those on the screen. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Wow, 
wow, I'm an art school student. <laughs> These were some concept sketches for uh, sticker designs I made of my sister's cat. One second, I actually have them with me right now. <laughs> They're silly, and my sister's cat is very silly. I love him so much. Yeah, my sister's cat, I love him so much. He's just a silly guy, and I wanted to make silly stickers based off of him, which, again, are available for purchase, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Hey, why'd you get stuck in that sticky note? Some fucking Tokomaru things, because I was considering doing a charm design for them and then I kind of like abandoned that idea but maybe I'll go back to it because I like them and then dumb fucking Jackie comic I'm sorry they're gay here are some like fun little practice sketches of the style that I wanted to do for Odafest sketch drive which was so much fun I had so much fun at Odafest this year being able to like participate and draw for people it was great if you guys saw me at Odafest or like got art from me during sketch drive let me know i think that would be neat <laughs> it was great i love that con so much it was so fun it was so fun um yeah literally i just kept going and going because it was fun to do this kind of like pink base sketch with line art over top but let's go back to the basics let's do fucking cute jackie angst jackie because that is how my life is i'm very predictable my OC Lumi once again. I just, I don't know, I think with these drawings I just really wanted to emphasize the flow of their like weather doll skirt. These doodles here are like based off of an anatomy book or like referenced from that, which I really need to use my anatomy books more, which is why I did that. And then haha ha, funny, I'm supposed to be the model, huh? Yeah, Jaga, yeah you are because I love bullying my OCs and then I actually drew her here as a meme. But you know what's funnier? this Kirby with a realistic leg because I drew the leg and it looked really dumb detached so I thought adding Kirby would be a fun little extra. For the last few pages of this sketchbook I kind of like shat them out because I really just wanted to finish it. So here's Kanade and then young Jaga escaping because she did some stupid shit and then some random doodles from I don't know, I was drawing in the middle of one of my spring summer classes. <laughs> and then here are these doodles of my Wings Club X Amphibia designs because I love Amphibia so much. And y'all, spoilers for my next sketchbook tour, which probably won't come out until a really long time, but... Brrr, train, 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 train. Okay, spoilers for my next sketchbook, which probably won't come out till a while, but a good a chunk of that is just amphibia sketches because I love amphibia so much. These actual Winx Club designs, I turned them into sparkly stickers. Look, here's Anne and Marcy and Sasha, and I think they're so cool. I love the girls so much. The Calamity Trio, my beloved. Yeah, watch Amphibia if you haven't, it's great. And then here's the final page, just like super rushed doodle of myself bidding y'all goodbye. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this sketchbook tour and bearing with me because there are some crazy things happening outside. Can you hear those engines <laughs> rapping? Oh my god, what is happening down there? Okay, I think it's mellowing out. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I really mean it. I'm, I just really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me for the past um, few months, I guess. It's really sweet and I hope you enjoyed looking at this and uh, thanks again. I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, afternoon or whatever. Bye-bye.